yourself, <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> You're an <laughs> Nailed it. What's up, Light Bright Nation? What is going on, Light Bright Nation? So we are back in Holly, Michigan. At America's Most Wanted. 4x4, four four, which we haven't been to in quite a while, but they've been busy little bees since the last time we were here because not only do they have some super rad upgrades for the Hemi Swap on the Stepchild, which is only one of the reasons we're here, but we've got a few other reasons as well, including something but, super rad. Yeah, so we're about to show you what you guys have been asking for for a long time. It's something that everyone has been dying to see. Let me officially introduce to you a brand new, fresh out of the crate, 1,000 horsepower Elephant engine by Mopar. All the horse purrs. All the horse purrs. Guys, this right here has not only been extremely difficult to find, but it still is. This is a unicorn. No, this is, yeah, wait, this is a unicorn. No, this okay. is a unicorn. Both? That's both? We'll agree. Both okay. unicorns. Both unicorns. But the most important unicorn in the room right now is the Elephant engine. Now, what makes this extremely special, aside from 1,000 horsepower and 950 foot pounds of torque, is it's all aluminum block. Now, it's also made up of forged aluminum pistons, steel connecting rods, forged steel crank, and of course, nodular iron camshaft. This is built for power and it is an absolute monster. Unfortunately, it's not going in the stepchild today. How Foster child? However, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but how many people want a elephant powered gladiator? Raise their hand. <laughs> no, so it's not going in any of our vehicles today, but this is something we wanted to show you because not only does America's Most Wanted have this elephant engine right here, but they have several more that are just waiting to get dropped into a Jeep. Guys, 1,000 horsepower to the crank. That is absolutely insane. And there's more to this than even that. It also comes with an ATI super damper and ARP internal hardware. This engine is specifically built for power performance and reliability. Now to hold all of this power, the America's Most Wanted 4x4 Elephant Kit comes with an even more robust transmission than the one that we have in the Stepchild. Now for our 6.4 SRT Hemi, we have an 8 HP 75 transmission. For this, it'll be coming with an 8 HP 95 transmission. It's built again to withstand all the horse purrs. All the horse purrs. All the horse purrs. And turkers. And torques are tur Tor torkers. Turkers? Torkers? <laughs> Tur Let's move on. The Let's keep going. <laughs> now to help this seven liter make the 1000 horsepower, it has an upgraded three liter twin screw blower. That's what she said. That's it. Phrasing. Phrasing. Anyways. Phrasing. But I think that might be enough about the elephant, as beautiful as it is, because we're here for other reasons, and that's specifically for some upgrades on the stepchild. So let's go ahead and pull her in and knock some stuff out.
upgrade number one is actually going to be the steering box. Now, Kevin and I have up until this point been running the factory JL aluminum steering box in the stepchild. And it has a little over 80,000 miles on it at this point. Now we once upon a time actually did have it tapped and ported to use hydro assist. But now we're gonna be switching over to this, which is actually the cast iron PSC steering box, which is built specifically for hydro assist application. Now, not only is this going to be stronger in general than the aluminum OE steering box, but it also has a different steering ratio. And this is actually gonna give us a faster steering ratio as well. It was actually perfect timing for this because while we were just at Roush Creek, while we were doing Crucible, actually the day before that, the pump started whining. We put some more synthetic fluid in and then on Crucible, by the end, it was I was, it was not happy. So we're gonna go ahead and replace the power steering pump. This so if you haven't seen one, one, yeah, so here, this is the pump. The filler is attached with the fluid and the pulley and all that good stuff. They've already got this out, so we're gonna go ahead and slap a brand new one in along with that new box and new lines because actually my lines were starting to leak that were going to our hydro, to our ram. Guys, you have to remember how many miles are on the stepchild at this point since we installed the whole Hemi setup last year. It was a little over a year ago. We've put probably, what, 40, 50,000 miles? Hard. Hard miles, like hard beat the ever living piss out of it on a trail and then drive all the way across the nation back and forth multiple times. So uh, she's been long overdue for a little TLC. Okay, now something else that we've been meaning to do to the stepchild ever since the all new Gladiator was released is actually replace these grill inserts that come from factory on the JL with these grill inserts, which come factory on the JT. And as you can see, the hexagons here are much larger than the ones on the JL, which means we're gonna have a lot more airflow, which means we're gonna have a lot better cooling, which is gonna be huge and super helpful, not just for the Hemi itself, but everything, including the power steering cooler and the air conditioning. So this is something we've been meaning to do set, for a while. We set, just never gotten down, around set to. Sit down right in front of it. Look, you can literally see. <laughs> like, it is a huge, 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 massive difference. It's a huge difference. And on top of that, the install is insanely easy. It's a 100% direct replacement. So. It, takes almost no time. I don't know why we've put it off for so long, but it's been something we've wanted to do forever. Also, just for and giggles, I wanted to film this blue waffle Jeep that's equipped with a super rad Hellcat while we were here because I thought it was funny. Don't Google that if you don't know what it is, but pretty clever, clever people here. It's a clever name. Okay, now something else we're doing while we're here is not a mechanical upgrade whatsoever. It is actually just a purely aesthetic upgrade, but we are replacing these, which are the shifter caps for the shifter and the transfer case shifter to these, which are America's most wanted shifter caps as you can see it has their logo and they're super dope way cooler than the factory ones i think so those are going on as well now in addition to just looking hella freaking rad these are also just way better quality than what comes from the factory yeah like this plastic just pos of, yeah. basically so these are actually laser engraved billet aluminum and they are coated. so yeah definitely gonna be way cooler looking and way better quality and then while we're playing with aesthetics, we figure we might as well go ahead and do something else that's super cool. Okay, so the steering right now actually feels really, really good. Um, it's a lot it's a lot tighter. It's not so loosey-goosey and wandery. It's actually very tight. I'm really enjoying it, but we've only got like four miles on it. So I'm gonna test that a little bit more and then I'll let you guys know exactly 
what we did and kind of why it's working, so. But before we leave America's Most Wanted 4x4, we have one more bit of super rad news. Sad news, but rad news. And that is that AMW 4x4 is it's moving. moving. Uh, Thanks, you owe me a Coke. But the good news is, is they're only moving four miles down the road. And the super rad news is they're moving into this 30,000 foot monstrosity, strosity, 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 because there's probably an echo in here. If there wasn't an 18 wheeler <laughs> and our Jeep parked next to each other and they don't even span the entire width of this she, facility. Yeah, she meant 30,000 square feet. That's what, what I said. You said 30,000 feet. Square, 30,000 square feet. Anyways, dude, this place is freaking huge. America's Most Wanted is expanding. Yeah, so they have like a paint booth over there. Look at that. They're gonna put a dino room in the back over Look there. Look at that. And on the other side of that wall that you can't even see, there's a whole nother There's room. a whole nother space it's, on the other side of that yeah, wall. So 30,000 square feet, and I think with like the mezzanine and everything, it's gonna be closer to 37,000 square feet. That's insane. You know what that means? It means more hemi swaps, more hellcats, more demons, and- More elephants. More elephants. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember you can find all your Light Bright Nation. Oh, I'm gonna undress real quick. I'm the one wearing it today. All your Life Bright Nation merch at lifebrightstudios.com. All of your Life Bright Nation decals at pixeldecals.com. Guys, we love you so much, and we will see you next time. Bye! Hey guys. Okay, where's Jelly? Where'd she go? I don't see her. Where'd she go? There she is! Actually, are you a little burrito? Are you a little jelly burrito? Are you a little wrapped up jelly burrito? It's wet outside. <laughs> Just like. There you go. You little you cubby go. hole? Okay. Good night. Holy guacamole! <laughs> Uh, not the type of water you want to be going through when you're towing 26 plus thousand pounds. Ah. Sorry, the trailer just pushes us through. It the truck got light a few times, the trailer's like, nah, you're good. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so someone commented on a video recently and said that I say winch wrong. You like you're winching to like it's a winch on the tree. How else do you say it, Kevin? Winch. 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 You winch. winch. No, winch. You have a winch on your jeep. Winch. Win. Like win. You're winning. Winch. Win. Winch. Win. Win. Not win. It's not winch. The team. It's winch. It's the win, team not wants win. A win. It's win, not win. Winch, not winch. I feel like you're emphasizing, like putting the wrong emphasis no. <laughs> on something. It's an I, not winch. a e. Yeah, winch. 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 It's the same, that's the same word. No, it's the same it's word. It. You're it's winching. It. Yeah. You're winching. Shut up, Jason. No one asked no, for no, your opinion. A wench is the lady that is a wench, you know? I understand the spelling is different. Uh huh. And the, the pronunciation. They sound the fing same. No. She is such a wench. That's a nice wench on your cheek. It sounds the same. It's the same word.